teaching my French bulldog how to ride an electric skateboard. <laughs> and we are the dreamers of dreams. Living life, spinning like a merry-go-round Traveling all around the world, you know we get around Good vibes only, you know it's the one and only Justin Bravo, yeah, that's my number one homie Subscribe, come on What's up, Go Gang? Today, we're riding the Meepo board. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is my vlog. Get your own vlog, homie. What's going on, Go Gang? Uh, little baby Gaby tried to steal the vlog from me today, but it's not happening. But I will let him star in the vlog today because we're living that vlog life. And I'll tell you right now that in the past few days, I've been getting lots of traffic on my electric board videos. Everyone who's been checking out the own board and the boosted board and the scooter board and all these other boards that I've done, I've gotten a lot of traffic on that. And I get a recurring question is people asking me about the Meepo board. They wanna know more about the Meepo board. And I, I happen to have a Meepo board. I happen to have one right here with me. And I really like the Meepo board. I'll tell you a couple observations right off the bat about it is that I have the Meepo short board. So it's kind of hard to compare it to the long boards, but right off the bat, a short board is dope because portability. I can slide this in the trunk of my car. It's really small and light and really easy to use. And so for that reason, I love the Meepo board. I love portability. When it comes to anything, it's all about will you use it? And if it's too big, it's too cumbersome, and you're not gonna actually break it out or take it with you, you're probably not gonna use it. Where the Meepo board is nice, because it is small, and that allows you to go and throw it in your trunk of your car, throw it in our backpack, or whatever. You could take it with you wherever you're going. So I think you can get a little bit more movement out of a board like this, unlike a long board, but you know, you sacrifice a little bit of the ride quality. So that's just something to keep in mind. But I do like having this tiny board and to be able to carry it with the handle and everything, to me it's just, it's it's a total win. The couple things I'll notice right off the bat is I love the Meepo branding, I, I love that. I love being having the all grip service. I like the cutouts right here. Some of these boards I've been trying out aren't cut out at the nose and tail and when you turn too much, your actual board will do some wheel rubbage, which is awful and you have to tighten up the trucks to kind of prevent that from happening. Meepo doesn't do that, um, but overall, the Meepo has got a solid build and really um, a really nice compact package. So I've really enjoyed riding the Meepo. I've really kind of enjoyed, even riding around the house is kind of cool because it's small enough that I can kind of get around the house and I can turn around the sofa and all the things. So I really enjoy riding this and Gabriel is the biggest fan of it. Gabriel's the one who's been riding it the most. So I'm gonna get on my board. I'm gonna let Gabriel ride the Meepo and I want to show you uh, a little tour around the neighborhood. Hey Gabriel, you down to ride around the neighborhood? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, Gabriel, you've ridden a couple of these boards. How do you feel about the Meepo? Um, pretty good. You like, you're riding it pretty well. I mean, it doesn't seem like, you feel like you can control it pretty well. You don't feel like you're gonna fall off, do you? No. Do you feel nervous? Not really. No, but we just keep it in slow-mo and you're always good. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you ready to ride it, homie? Yeah. Okay, now, if we're gonna ride it, if you're gonna do this, you gotta wear a helmet, right? Yeah. Okay, all right, so grab your helmet and let's get on. You rocking the Dino uh, Mohawk helmet today? All right, let's see it. So here's our Meepo remote. Um, it's very similar to other electric boards remote. It kind of conforms to your hand, has an upward throttle and a backward brake, and overall easy to use. And it's small enough for um, Gabriel size to uh, use it just fine. <laughs> How are you feeling about that uh, Amiibo board? I'm um, pretty good. You like it? Hey, mm -hmm. you notice that you're wearing a Pug Life shirt and I'm wearing a Vlog Life shirt? Mm -hmm. um, that's very similar, huh? Hey, why are you wearing a Pug Life shirt when we have a Frenchie? We have a French Bulldog. I don't have a French We have bulldog. to get you a French Life shirt. Yeah. So the Amiibo board actually has three speeds on it. Um, I'm keeping Gabriel on the first speed, obviously, but it has three speeds and the top speed will go 22 miles an hour, um, which is incredibly fast for a 30 inch short board. Um, and I probably wouldn't recommend going 22 miles an hour, but it says it will and I believe it. I've been on the board 
um, at full throttle and I was definitely clipping close to 18, 19. A lot of times these boards, you're not sure if they'll exactly go the stated speed, but 100%, I believe that Mevo board will go every bit of 22 miles an hour, um, especially because I got it up to about 18, 19 and I'm about 20 pounds heavier than it's recommended, stated to get maximum speed. And if you've ever been on an electric board or any board going 22 miles an hour, it is a very scary proposition. Um, luckily, the Mevo has a pretty good braking system on it. Um, it's like a, it's a hub motor, so it will brake kind of quickly. So make sure that you kind of ease on the brake on it, but it 100% will get you where you need to go. And you know, on that beginner mode, I think it's ideal for kids. It really, uh, they can get on it pretty easily. If they have a helmet and you're riding safely and monitored and it's great. I mean, Gabriel is seven years old, so we get around pretty easily on the Mepo, um, but you know, heavy parental supervision I would recommend. Um, but uh, anyway, G Gabriel really loves the Mepo and uh, we're having a good time today. Oh, not bad. Not bad. You did pretty good. How'd you feel about it? Uh, pretty good. Were you a little nervous? I don't know. You shouldn't have been nervous. You were doing good, man. I don't, I don't think you were going about more than 10 or 12 miles an hour. So we were going at a pretty good clip. I think your little dyno helmet would have kept you safe. Whew. All right, can I, would, you, would it be okay? Can I ride the Meepo board now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the Meepo board. You can really turn it back and forth and we can turn on a dime. So let's get going on it. Okay, go gang i'll tell you that if you're in the market for electric board i think the meepo board's a good option i think it's a good it's a good get um i like that little 30 inch board i think it's a good size i haven't taken um it on an airplane or anything like that but i used to take the long boards on airplanes all the time on my travels and you know they're kind of a pain in the butt they're just too big um so having a smaller option to me is a complete win um I will be hitting a trip very soon. Got some special stuff coming up and I will probably take the Meepo with me because, you know, I, I value portability and usability over anything. But I will tell you this week coming up, I'm trying to schedule something with a bunch of guys, got a bunch of tubers get together and we can all go out and kind of ride the boards together. Um, I've got a bunch of different type of boards and um, I want to kind of do a comparison of everything together and just do a big old battle of the rideables. And uh, I think it'll be a really cool video and really kind of put to rest like which board is the board to have. And not, I think everyone has different purposes where they have their maximum potential and maximum benefits, but um, we're gonna put some stuff to rest and it's coming up very soon. So um, be on the lookout because we're about to do some major battles and it's gonna be happening on this channel and uh, I'm really excited to uh, show up for y'all. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to pair a couple of these electric boards versus like a one wheel versus a solo wheel um, versus the scooter board. Like I'll, I'll try to have a couple of different variants of the electrical rideables and that way we can really have a solid comparison and we're gonna see once and for all who is the winner? Who is the best ride? And I do think that they all have different, you know, strengths, but we're gonna see where they excel. Then, after the Battle of the Rideables video, we're gonna have a teaching my French Bulldog how to ride an electric skateboard. <laughs> no, we're not. That would actually be pretty cool. You think you could do it? Huh? Huh, bro? You think you could ride? I, I think you could. But I don't want you to get hurt, buddy. I think that'd be too much for you. So we, we may not do that video. So you would look really cool going down on a, uh, a board flying down 22 miles an hour. But you know, I've seen other bulldogs do it. I've seen those bulldog, y'all seen those bulldog videos. They can go, they can ride long boards. Why can't y'all ride an electric board? Okay. Obviously that's a boring idea. So go gang, if you're in the market for an electric rideable, um, go check out Meepo. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. If you're in the market for some dope merch, um, you can get that at justinbravo.com slash shop. And lastly, if you're in the market for a fun time, um, you're already here. So just hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and join the GOAT gang. And I'll tell you, um, we got some cool stuff coming up. So um, hope you're having a great day. I hope tomorrow's an even better day and we'll just keep the greatness coming. Um, but I hear Louie calling, so.
I gotta go. Yo, what's with interrupting the monologues? We gotta talk to the goat gang. Don't you know? <laughs>